beach, perhaps. Like a beach? Mm. Hmm, interesting. Now, there are many different types of beaches. Some beaches are ocean, lakes. Tell me what kind of a beach this is. Ocean. An ocean. So, do you see some sand? Yeah. Mm hmm. Do you see any people around? No. No. I don't think so. So, as you're going through this beach, do you feel that you have a physical body on this beach? Can you walk through this sand? Yeah. Uh huh. So, as you're walking, I'd like for you to look down at your feet. See the feet that are walking on the sand? What do you imagine those feet to look like? It's like green. Green. Tell me more about that, these green feet. What do they look like? Is it as a person or an animal? What does it look like? Look at the toes. Um, web, uh, possibly webbed. Webbed feet. Mm -hmm. How many? I'm not even sure they're green. Uh -huh. Does it have different toes? Just slightly. In between. Mm -hmm. Just like a big web. Mm -hmm. And are you, are you walking comfortably through the sand with those feet? Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at the rest of the body that is walking through the sand. What do you look like? Look at your legs. Are they the same color? Yeah. Mm hmm What's the skin like? Scaly. Scaly. Mm -hmm. Are they large scales or small? Small. Mm -hmm. Amphibious. Amphibious. Mm -hmm. Creature. Yes. Take a look at your torso. What does your torso look like? Human, human, human fish. Humanish. Humanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about your your arms? Do you have arms? Yeah. Uh huh. Look at your fingers. What do they look like? Got fingers with with a slight web. Mm hmm. With a slight web. Very good. Let's take a look at your face. Is there anything interesting about your face? Trust your first impression. Just amphibian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frog. Frog-like, almost. Frog-like, uh-huh. Do you see that you have eyes or nose? What does it look like? Like f big, big lips. Big almost lips. Almost like fish or something. All right. You're weird. Wonderful. Green. So, you are heading towards or against the water? Towards. Towards. So, let's well, see. Well, yeah, towards. So, tell me what happens next. Where do you go to next? Do you go in the water? Yeah. All right. So allow yourself to go in the water and just tell me everything that you do so I can be with you. I think I have a, st a stick. Mm hmm. Like a spear. Okay. What do you imagine you do with that stick? Hunt. Mm hmm. So take me through the process. Where do you go? In, into the water. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in the water when you go in there? Mm. No. No. So, will 
allow yourself to go even deeper into that water. And tell me what happens. Describe it for me. What do you see around you? Just water. Just water. Are you by yourself? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does it feel on your skin? Allow yourself. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cold? Cool. Cool. So how is it that you swim? Just, uh, sort of almost charge through the water, almost just kicking through it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just propelling yourself through yeah. the water? Very good. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you to advance that scene to when finally you're confronted with what you came here to do today in this water. Allow yourself now, I'm going to count from three to one and you'll be there, I'll touch your forehead. Three, two, and one. What do you envision now in that water? Connect with your emotions, your feelings. What do you imagine now? Use all of your senses. See, see someone with a beard there. Mm -hmm. like all right. Human. All right. Is this? Human in the water or outside? Outside. All right. So take a look and see. Where is this human with his beard? Sitting on a chair. Mm-hmm. What does he look like? White beard. Mm-hmm. Quite old. Mm-hmm. How is he dressed? Don't... Cloth. Cloth. Cl cloth. Yeah, just wearing like a few cloths. This man who is sitting on this chair, what do you imagine he's doing there? What role does he play? It's like a king or something. A king. Does he know who you are? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to connect with him telepathically. His words will be your thoughts, and he will hear you in the same way. Let's ask him who he is. What is he the king of? God. All right. Why are you in front of him today? Show me. Mm -hmm. What is he showing you? Tell me what you see or hear from him. The more you talk, the more you'll see and understand. Why are you before him today? I 
I can see, but I can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to open up that communication. I'm going to put my hand on your forehead, and that will open up your inner eye, your inner knowing. And when I do that, allow just the words to become your thoughts. What does he tell you? They will sound like your thoughts. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Continue. Lend him your voice. What does he want to say today? How are you? Mm -hmm. struggling I don't, um just allow it to flow if you will I'm going to go ahead and ask him the questions and all you have to do is say the first thing that comes into your mind that is the way the transmission works so I'd like to ask this man God is it a man yeah all right why have you taken this form today as this old man Why have you brought us here today? Is there a message? Just allow the words to flow. No censoring, no ego. What does Chris need to hear today? He saw himself as this amphibious being. Did you show him that for a reason? I don't feel like I'm just picking anything up. Mm -hmm. Just allow yourself to give yourself advice. This life as an amphibious being Chris seems to draw a lot of things from the ocean. He seems to be drawn to it. What is the reason why you showed him that life? Is there something about that life that he misses? He was lost. He was lost. Tell me about that. Alone. Mm hmm. Fishing, stressed. Yes. What happened to his people? He died out. Mm hmm. So he was the lone one that was left? Yeah. Mm hmm. Was this life on Earth or somewhere else? Somewhere else. Somewhere else. So it seems that he may be carrying some of this loneliness inside, is that right? Yeah. Mm hmm So what happened to him to cause him to be so lonely? Were there not any others that he could make friends with? He was very remote. Mm hmm Lived yes. very remotely. Yes. So he got used to that, didn't he? Yeah. Uh-huh. Is he doing the same thing in this life? Yeah. But it seems to me he's doing it in this life by choice. Yes. Mm hmm What is it from that life that he's trying to, to relive in this one? Tranquility, I guess. Uh-huh. Is he finding that? Yes and no. Mm hmm can you tell me about that? Conflicting mm -hmm. thoughts. 
he seems to have put himself in places that cause a lot of emotion around him. In his family, in his workplace, why does he choose places that have so much emotion yet he's looking for tranquility? To push boundaries a little bit more. Mm -hmm. How's he doing with that? He's doing all right. Gets a little stressed. Mm -hmm. What advice would you like to give him? In those moments of stress. Just to keep, keep going. Mm -hmm. Will he ever be able to have close relationships? Because he finds it very difficult. If he wants to. Mm -hmm. So what's keeping him from that? Being around the right people. Mm -hmm. Moving in the right circles. But how do you find those circles? That seems to be a problem with so many people these days. People get drawn to each other. Mm -hmm. The right people get drawn to each other. So in order for you to draw the right people, what kind of mindset do you have to be in, or vibration, in order to attract them? It depends who you're trying to attract. Mm -hmm. Depends what path you're on, depends what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you're just... If you are... It could work either way. Mm -hmm. So it depends if... Depends what you're looking for, mm -hmm. you know. So if you... If you look for it, and you're putting out that energy, then you'll find that energy back. Mm -hmm. He seems to have done that when he was a child, when he knew that he was being an outsider, but he had to play football, for example, yeah. to meet others. So it seems that he's had this experience before of shifting his mindset and vibration. Why is he keeping himself from people now? He's he's always been consistent. Mm -hmm. I think he just chooses to avoid certain situations. Mm -hmm. The drama? To avoid certain emotions, mm. dramas, conflict. When he chose to incarnate in this life as Chris, did he choose wisely the people around him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. He's not, he's not in any, any trouble. Okay. But right now he's put himself in a situation where he doesn't attract anybody to be with him in his life. He's cruising. Mm. He's just coasting through. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. So he's doing well. well. He is doing well. Okay. Is it, an, is it necessary, necessity to cruise with someone else? Not always, mm -hmm. if that's what your heart seeks. Okay, because he wanted to know if he's ever going to meet his soulmate. He doubts himself sometimes, mm -hmm. but he doesn't need to. He doesn't? No. How do you attract a soulmate? Your soulmate is... Your connections, connections, your soul group, your mm -hmm. attracted soul, but like the energy, mm -hmm. the energy of someone else, and you, your energies combine. 
they go well together and then in this plane you can connect and you don't know why mm -hmm. has he met soulmates already no no he's met he's made connections he has how will he know that he's met a soulmate how will it feel like in his heart He has an open heart, so mm -hmm. he will know when he's ready. Okay. But for now, he's fine just finding his feet, mm -hmm. re rebirthing yes. himself. Has he been doing that through his lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. He's it's changed. He's changed. He's just more aware. Mm -hmm. Now, as an amphibian being that he was in that life, he lived two worlds. He lived the world of the land and the world of the ocean. Is he still doing that in this lifetime? Does he live in two different worlds? He is connected to the sea. Mm-hmm. It's part of him. He's drawn drawn to it. Mm-hmm. He's a Piscean. So how will the sea help him? relaxes him. Mm -hmm. Does he need to spend more time at the sea? He needs to swim, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now mm. he has questions about his artwork. Why has he been drawn to do this art? It's a release. Mm -hmm. It's how he connects. Mm -hmm. How he communicates. Yes. With uh, energy and raising his energy mm -hmm. through the pictures. Yes. Because the pictures have the vibrations, the colors, the mm. shapes. And this is his way of doing that. Is he channeling anything through this art? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when people see it, they feel it. Yes. And they don't know why, but they feel it. And he showed me one in which it had a fish in it. Does he sneak in fish into his art? Yeah, it just naturally flows. Mm -hmm. it so just naturally draws it. So this artwork, is that almost like his own sea? Yeah, it's his experiences, it's his energies, mm -hmm. his vibration. It's his thoughts. It's yes. everything. It all it gets channeled into that art. Yeah. Okay. Do you recommend that he spend more time on of course. this? Could he make a living of this? If he wanted to, yeah. Okay. Why has he chosen his line of work at this time? To help people. Hmm. How does he help people? Just just energy. Mm hmm Just being just being just being there. Just being in their presence. Would you call Chris a light worker? Yeah. Because this light is in a, a very light. dark place, isn't it? It's not in so much of a dark place. Mm -hmm. It's just about waking up. Okay. Okay. Is he affecting the people that are in his presence? Yeah. How does that work? What's he doing to them? People... People know, people can feel the energy, mm -hmm. the good energy, the positive, the love. And how does that affect them? It raises their vibration. Okay, good. Makes them feel better. And he is seeing thousands of people. That's why he's there. Mm -hmm. 
to affect as many people as possible. Is anything affecting him? He gets brought down mm -hmm. with day-to-day -day lives, but he is strong. Okay, because he was wondering if anything was holding him back from moving forward. Has anything attached to him? Just letting go of self-doubt. Okay. What is that doubt doing to him? Just just makes him unable to to see what he's really doing. Mm-hmm. What he could really do. Okay. Can you tell me where this doubt is being manifested in his body? Let's focus where he's holding all of that doubt. In his throat. In his throat, okay. His heart area. Mm -hmm. His chest, his throat. Yes. So if you could visually describe what this doubt looks like, would it have a color or shape? It's black. It's black, okay. Would you allow me to go deeper inside and see where this came from? Yeah. All right. So we'll be back with you in a minute. What I'd like for you now is to focus on this blackness. And I'd like for you to just make it a little stronger. Make the doubt even stronger. And as you make that doubt stronger, I'd like for you to come up with a sentence or a phrase that describes this doubt. A phrase that just jumps out of this. Fear. Fear. All right, let's expand that fear. I'm afraid of... <laughs> what is the fear? Come up with a sentence. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid of failing. All right, what is it that you need to do that you're afraid of? Let go. Let go. Let go of unnecessary thoughts and emotions of mm -hmm. nothing, just. That's a very complicated thought for a seven-year-old. What's happening? See who you're with. What's making you afraid? Afraid of failing. I can't see anything. You feel it. We're not seeing, we're feeling it. This is all about feelings. What are you afraid to say? What are you afraid of exposing with your heart? What's happening in school? Are there any around you saying things to you? No. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Not bad. So why is it that this little seven-year-old boy has placed so much fear in his heart, in his throat. Does he need to hold on to this any longer? No. No. It's just there. It's just there. So now that you see it from a different perspective, as an adult, is there anything for this little boy to be afraid of no. moving forward? So what has been this been doing inside of his throat for so long? What has he been holding back? On saying. I don't think he put it there. Oh, who put it there? 
It's just that. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what it is. Go deeper. What is this thing that he put there, or was put there? What is, was it put by someone else? Let's go back even further. Allow yourself to get even younger to find out who put that there. I'm going to count from five back to one. Allow yourself to get younger and younger as we find the origin of who put that in there. It wasn't him. Five. Go back even further, getting younger and younger to see the origin of who placed that there. Four. Begin to see the face. Three, getting younger. Two, and one, be there now. Allow the image to just pop up. Who put that there? What's the face that you see? You'll just I see an old man. An old man, all right. Let's find out who that old man is. I'm going to go ahead and count from one to three and let me speak with this old man. Lend him your lips and your throat. One, two, and three. Old man, what are you doing there with Chris? Who are you? Are you related to him? No. No. What are you doing with this young man? Just observing. Observing. Let me ask you something. If you're just observing, why have you put that in his throat? Just wanted to see mm -hmm. what, what would happen. What would happen? Yeah. What is that you put in his throat? It's not meant to harm him. Mm -hmm. What is it doing for you? Control. Control. Tell me, old man, have you ever had a human form before? Not. No. What are you then? No, not on earth. Not on earth. I'm an old man. You're an old man from, from where? I just. Uh, I'm just here. You're just here. Mm. Did this. Does Chris give you permission to put that in his throat? No. No. So by putting it in his throat, how has it affected him? I guess it's been a barrier for him. Mm-hmm. What kind of barrier? Speaking out. Mm-hmm. And what do you get from that? Just to stay mm -hmm. connected. To stay connected. So if he didn't give you permission to put that in his throat, and you are continuing to connect with him, do you feel that this is right? No. No. Because you are affecting his free will. I'm sorry. How, when is it that you put this in his throat? From birth. From birth. Did you know his mother? No. No. Why did you choose this soul? For the energy. The energy. Yeah. What did you see in his energy? Power, a powerful light. Mm-hmm. So it seems to me that you're getting something from that light, aren't you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Why is it that you're not using your own light? I just, I'm just here, I, don't, I didn't think to do, mm -hmm. it was my own. Old man, do you have a name? Alfie. Alfie. Alfie, did you know that you had this light within you, that you didn't need to siphon off the light of a, another soul? Mm. Take a look within you, Alfie, you have that light. 
Tell me when you find it. It may be very small. Yeah. Now I'd like for you, Alfie, to expand that light and make it much bigger. And you will feel the connection directly to your creator. Tell me how that feels as you expand that light. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Is this the light that you were looking for, Alfie? Yes. Yes. Is there any need to be connected to Chris any longer? No. No. So I'd like for you now to disconnect completely and remove the blockage that you put in his throat. Okay. All right. Did you put anything else in his body? No. No. Is this thing that you put in his throat, was it affecting his heart also? Yeah. Yes. So I'd like for you to pull all of that energy out. Pull it all out. And what would you like to tell, Chris? I'm sorry. Time went... Time moved fast, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry. All right. Take a deep breath in. Chris, can you forgive Alfie for not knowing that he had his own light. Yeah. All right. So I'd like for you to disconnect completely from Alfie. I want you to cut all of those cords. And as you cut them, allow them to just dissolve and let him go. And we're going to send him back home. Send him back to the light. Take a deep breath in. Alfie, are you ready to go now? I'm ready. All right. So I'd like for you to follow that light within you. Follow that light. And tell me what happens. I'm going Very to the good. light. Very good. Alfie, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good. And now take a deep breath in and let me speak once again to God. And I'd like for you to tell me, how does he look now? He's good to go. Good to go. So I'd like for you to assist him now in bringing back that energy that he had forgotten how to use because he was being blocked since birth. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin energizing him with your love. No problem. All right, and tell me what's happening. His body is filled with love and light. Beautiful. So these emotional blockages that he had to protect himself, was that due to Alfie? Yes. Mm hmm Yes. Did he know subconsciously? He had an... He had a suspicion, yeah. Mm-hmm. So... He, but... But he, he didn't know for sure. Uh-huh. So now that he understands that ever since birth, he's had some sort of a impediment there to his own soul. He's carried somebody else with him. Mm-hmm. How is this going to affect him now that he has released Alfie? It's fine. He mm. could have carried on. He could it's have. very strong, yeah. Mm-hmm. But now that he's lighter, how will that help him? It's, he's he's creating everything, so mm -hmm. he he's just beginning to create more. Yes, it it will all um, unravel. Okay, he's uh he's walking at a faster rate than he used to be. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason for that? Well, he's he's just gaining more confidence. Okay, he's uh. He's realizing more about himself, mm -hmm. about his surroundings. And he's just playing with it now. He's starting to play with it. And he will continue to play. Yeah, he, he, will, uh, he will continue to play. So is there anything that he needs to be doing that he hasn't done before? Or is it just a play that he needs to do? Yeah, he's... he's uh, he doesn't have one specific avenue he needs to follow. Mm -hmm. Just, just to be here with his energy mm -hmm. and his light, and just 
to help. Is that why he came into this lifetime? Ultimately, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was his ultimate purpose for being here? Why did he choose life on Earth? He's here to experience a lower vibration. Mm -hmm. He's just here to expand. Has he ever lived on Earth before? No. So this is really a brand new game for him here. Yeah. He's learning the rules. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How's he doing? He's doing great. Wonderful. Is he connected to the star people at all? We're all connected. Mm -hmm. He had an experience where he's able, he was able to see a ship. Yeah. What was that? It's guardians. Mm -hmm. Just letting him know everything's okay. Okay. And that his suspicions were correct. Okay. Will he be seeing any more of these guardians in the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he will. Yeah, they're always there. They're always there. He will. He will. Um. He will just continue to help other people here. Mm -hmm. Good. And they will. They will just be in the background if needed. But he's fine. So could it be that that's why he feels so different than everybody else on Earth, that he's learning? That's why he's here now with you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? He needed... He felt he needed mm -hmm. a little bit of a confirmation, I guess. Yes. Is he getting that confirmation yeah. now? Mm -hmm. He also asked if there was any traumas from any past lives that are affecting him. And we started off as this amphibious being, feeling alone, feeling that he had been, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean what is that trauma? Can you? Just pulling in a little bit of uh, isolation, I guess. Yes. Just, but... It's not all bad. It's a, not. A, a lot of it's enjoyable and okay. the tranquility. And uh, yeah, he he's he just remembers mm -hmm. certain aspects. Is there any sadness associated with that life of losing his? Not others? overpowering. No. No. He's he's, he's okay. Mm -hmm. He uh, he knows he's fine as well. Okay. He, Very good. He's uh, gaining strength mm -hmm. and knowledge. Now, when you said that he needs to spend more time at the sea. Yeah, just for himself, okay. just to, just for re recreation, mm -hmm. just to connect. What will that do for him? It will ground him. So it's a good place for him to ground. Yeah, he, he, he will gain extra energy from the sea. Mm -hmm. Does he need to live near the sea? He doesn't need to. I okay. mean, he doesn't live far away. Mm -hmm. He's very close to the sea where his family are. Yes. He spent a lot of time near the sea. And he knows when he needs to go near it. And oh. he, he goes. Very good. So he's already following. He always does, yeah. His instincts. That's why he's worked there before. He, he's worked by the sea. Mm -hmm. He moved to the sea. He moved away to the sea. He went to sea. He spent lots of time at sea. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Now, in this body, how is he doing health-wise? Is there anything that he needs? He... He knows, um, he knows exactly what he needs uh, in his body mm -hmm. and how to take care of it. Mm -hmm. Good. He doesn't always do it, but that, you know, it's, it's fine. It's, 
he always goes back. Okay, so he knows he's he's uh, not done. He likes misadventure from time to time, uh-huh. but it's it's fine, and he knows when to go back. Is that part of the play? Yeah, he's playing. Mm-hmm. Playing with his body and playing with. He, he likes he likes to experiment, and he likes to. He, sometimes he likes to escape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Good. that's fine. Now he told me that he had quite a connection with Metatron. In fact, he was even thinking of that name today. Can you tell me a little bit about his connection? Does he have one? Yeah. What does he need to know about that? He just knew he was he was coming. Mm-hmm. And there will be more coming. Mm-hmm. So it's just a path, yeah. It's just a greeting, just guidance. So is he using those extrasensory um Yes he skills? He, yeah. Yeah, he gets uh he has extrasensory skills. Mm-hmm. Um, so he gets hits every once in a while of yeah, he information? Gets, he, he, he gets the constant flow, but mm-hmm. uh, um, he, he, he thinks quite a lot. So. Well, I would think that would be very good in his job, but what about in his personal life? How can he use that knowing in order, in order to improve his personal life and play more? Yeah, he just needs to. Uh, he needs to meditate more um, okay. in different ways. So he draws, but be- because he leads such a stressful life, mm-hmm. st- such a such a hectic job, yes, a day job, which is fine. He just needs to recenter himself okay. afterwards and re-energize himself. So is that where the artwork comes in? Yeah. Okay. So he should at least do more of that. Spend artwork. more time. He he feels happier. Okay. When he's when he's doing that, and that's because it fills him with energy. It recharges his batteries. Mm-hmm. And there are other ways that he can do it, but this is his preferred method. So. Yes. Are there any others that he doesn't know about right now that you would like to tell him? To continue to uh, to meditate. Mm-hmm. To continue to f- to to focus um, on your desires and your thoughts, and when you talk, we can hear you. Mm-hmm. Hence, you being here right now. You asked to be here. We put you here. Mm-hmm. So his prayers are answered. Yeah, he he he's desires to be here. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that he got what he needed from this today? Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. he he didn't need to be here, really. <laughs> it's just the confirmation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He had a, a bit of difficulty at the beginning, uh, getting his ego out of the way and yeah, he's, jumping in. Yeah, he's just, he's just his doubt mm-hmm. and everything else, but he's and just flowing. Yes. But that's fine. It, the source was there, flowing straight through mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. He just needed to open up. So look at his heart now and see how open that heart is. It's very open. Yes. Is there any other part of his of, of his um, energy body that needs work on? No. We've uh, had a good had a good look for mm-hmm. everything's fine. Everything's He's, fine. Everything's com- the way it should be. Mm-hmm. And when he goes to work, is there anything that he needs to do in the future to keep him from getting any other energies holding him back? No, he already does it. He does it already naturally. So he already knows how to do this. Yeah, he 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 already does it. Yeah, he he surrounds himself with light, mm-hmm. and negative energy cannot cannot harm him. Okay. However, however, he helps so many people. Mm. 
and uh, that's his directly coming from his energy source so that's why he just needs to re-energize to recharge more his... often yes because he doesn't always give himself chance he mm. he goes from one one thing to another mm -hmm. and then he wonders why he doesn't feel very well <laughs> so he's using up his his energy yeah and it makes him poorly mm -hmm. that's where he gets colds and things and and, that, and uh, that's where he gets the mental drain mm -hmm. that's where he can't offer anyone anything that's where he can't focus so what is the best thing that he can give to others just his presence mm -hmm. he doesn't need to do anything he, there's, there's no secret formula so he's just the light yeah that, op that it's, turns on it's just light. That's all it is. Okay, good. Him and many others. Do you have any uh, mission for him? Was he given a mission when he came here? That's, this is it. This is it? Yeah. Just be and have fun? Just be, have fun. Uh -huh. Spread the light. Spread the light around you. Uh -huh. There's so much negativity. Uh -huh. Just raise it. And he, d he does raise. He does raise it. He does raise other people around him, mm. even if it's temporarily. Yes. They can feel it when they pass by him. Mm -hmm. Some people won't feel it. Some people, some people won't know it. Some some people do. Mm -hmm. They and just the people feel good. people that do, he knows, and they have a connection. Good. And, and they help each other raise the vibration collectively. Now, now he also tells me that... Um, he he is seeking, and we talked about this already. He is seeking others like him. Where do you find them? There are others like him everywhere. Mm -hmm. How do they know each other? They know each other. They just know each other by their energy. Okay. And they will understand each other. Okay. They will trust each other. And that they, you just feel comfortable in each other's presence. Yes. And you just have that understanding. Mm-hmm. Good. So you just know when you're around each other. Mm-hmm. Will he be finding his tribe soon? Yeah, he's uh, he's been on a path of discovery for 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 a few years now. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's, uh, he's, he's finding his tribe now, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. And they will find him, and they will be attracted to him. Mm -hmm. And they will be attracted to him now more than ever. Will he bring something important to his tribe? Or just his energy? He will bring, he will talk. Mm-hmm. He will help people. He will help people. He will, he will talk to people. Okay. So it seems interesting that the part of him that was being hijacked by Alfie was his throat, was his mouthpiece. Yeah. Was that holding him back? Yes. He, will, he, he, he knows what to say. He knows mm -hmm. what to do. And uh, he will find it. And just naturally. Mm-hmm. You know, he doesn't need to overthink anything. Good. The people that need him will find him. Good, good. So it seems that this is his calling. To, yeah. To to speak with people to. Yeah. And he knows it. Good, good. And he's wanted to. And he will find. He will find his happiness through. Helping people and yeah, and 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 this is and this is this is his love. Mm -hmm. This is outside of work, or will it include work too? This 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 will be his work. Okay. He will naturally drift towards his pathway. All right. He is naturally drifting towards it already. Does he know that? Yeah. 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 Okay. So he knows there's things that are going to be shifting pretty soon. Things will be shifting and 
he will be meeting people, mm -hmm. like-minded people as he is now. Yes. And he will be meeting more, and then, like I see, he's nat naturally drifting onto this path anyway. Wonderful, wonderful. Now I'd like to know why it is that you brought him here today. Because he's been asking and asking, <laughs> and he's wanted guidance. Mm -hmm. Well, he's guidance. He's wanted confirmation. Yes. So um, we give it to him. Mm -hmm. um, he, he's got it now. Good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell him? Just that you're doing a great job. You're here. You're very powerful. You're very unique. And your light is beautiful. And share it and continue to share it and can share it in your new ways, your newfound ways that you will enjoy. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. And when he listens to this recording and his ego says, oh no, I was just making this up. What would you like to tell him he, about that? He, he won't do that anyway. He, if, he'll be fine. I won't let him. Okay, good, good. He's it, fine. He's good. He's doing, he's doing well. He's doing brilliantly. Thank you so much. Five, completely awake and alert, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hello. Wow. That was nice. Hmm? Yeah. Did you expect that? Oh, um, it would have surprised you a little bit, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure what to expect, so. You did well. Yeah. You did really well. At first, your ego was slamming the brakes. and Yeah, I, f I could feel it, yeah. And then um, after a while, it was like, oh, fine. Yeah, once, once I took my feet off the, off the, the brakes. brakes, yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like, where the hell am I? You know, yeah. it's like a, like a frog. Fish man. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen anything like that before. Well, it's so. a different planet. You were. Yeah, it's like a dark green kind of. Um, mm -hmm. You were an amphibious. Amphibious being. creature, yeah. But this is a different planet, so. Yeah, you that was the first thing I saw. Yeah. You haven't been here before. No, um, I, I, I did suspect that as well. That's why you don't fit in. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just trying to get used to everything, I guess. And this thing in your throat and your heart, how does that feel now? Fine. Feel lighter? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Like, I don't know where, where well, I don't know what that was. Yeah, that was some... I mean, I saw a guy sat at the table, <laughs> kind of, you know, just in the table in me almost. Yes. But he, he was just some weird guy. Yeah. And I saw him earlier. He did, so he was already attached to you. I saw him earlier, he was sat at the bench. Oh. Where, I was like, who the hell is that? Ah. Like, um... Like he just looked, didn't look properly human. Yes. Like he had like a really big nose uh -huh. and like these big ears, so like almost was, like a gnome. Yes. So he was attached to you. So he was sat with me earlier on, and then he was back back there. Ah. So he's been uh, observing everything really. He's been maybe taking a bit of a, maybe pulling some strings along the way. You feel that? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Huh? Yeah, he's gone now. Feel good? Yeah. Bye, mate. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think the session was? How did it feel to you? <sighs> about an hour. Hmm? It is about an hour. Yeah. Yeah. It was quick, but we got a lot done. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. huh? Yeah. So you want to keep this private? I don't mind, yeah. yeah. Can do. Whatever. Whatever you feel. What do you I, I don't mind, yeah. Whatever. There wasn't anything really personal. No, there wasn't really. No, everything's fine. Yeah. I don't mind sharing it. It's not a problem. You did great. Thank you. You did good. Yeah. Good. Mm. So, Chris, we did it. We did it. Yes. So, tell everybody how it felt to be in hypnosis. Um, how did it feel? At first, it, it different stages. So, yes. at first, it was uh, kind of like what, what the hell was going on? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. A little resistant. Yeah, resistant. I, I was yes. I was very resistant, and but I knew I knew that I would be. Yes. And I knew that that was a, a, a battle that I, I was going to have to have. Uh huh. So, but um, I was relaxed. But um, you, you know, there, there's a, there's that bit in you. Yes. That sort of tries that's to your ego. Yourself. That yeah, my my ego was getting in the way. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so yeah, one, once I got over that. Yes. Um, and then it, like, like I said, I took my foot off the brakes. <laughs> uh, it's like 
slamming. And, Once and, you saw your feet. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, it, it just, you know, like it just went from, you know, it just, that, that scene just sort of appeared and it was like, yes. you know, um, I mean, when I was walking down and, and then it was like, I'm not in the garden, I'm on a beach, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. It's like, yes. and then, and then obviously seeing what I saw was quite incredible, but yeah. And then you were confronted with God. Mm. Well, that just came out of nowhere because, and then God just started to resist again. Yes. And then, uh, like, why is God talking to me? Yeah. This can't be. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, not kind of, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Um, and and then um, and then, I, I think after that, I I just everything felt different. You know, I mean, I I I didn't really feel like I was in control of my own. Uh, <laughs> Of my own voice. It just started yeah, flowing out. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I can't remember how it sounded or, or anything, but uh-huh. I'm, I'm not fully aware. But Do you remember what you said? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I remember everything, but uh-huh. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I think I remember most of it, but... Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what happens. Once you release and you allow yourself to flow, it just starts coming out. And it just, it's yeah, very it's natural. Like, where are all these words coming from? And it, and it was like... <laughs> Because I wasn't thinking about what I was going to say, so I didn't right. know where the words were coming. Yeah. And you still have that. There's that little bit there, but it, by by this point, I'd, I was completely gone. You know, I yeah. mean, there wasn't really any ego there at that point. Wonderful. You know, it c- completely gone at that point, and there wasn't really any self doubt or anything. It was like, yeah, this is, you know, th- this is going on right now. You know. So, are um, you surprised at yourself? No, because but I'm I'm not surprised. Um, mm-hmm. And. Because I was fully expect not fully expectant, but fully aware that this could happen. So, well, we um, were told that this was your confirmation. Yeah. Well, uh, um, when when I came in, I kind of I didn't want to go too much into it, but I kind of knew. Mm-hmm. And you know, I mean, it's pro- probably quite cliche, but oh, I knew. But yeah, I, I think um, yeah. There, there's like instincts, aren't there? So mm-hmm. when when you have um, and I'll say that for other people, when you have that, that in your head, and if you're probably watching this, there's probably a reason you're watching this. Yes. So what I would say to the, to those people is just listen to that, because mm-hmm. um, it's there for a reason. So, yes. and, and that's obviously the case of me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just feel a bit lighter, obviously. Yeah. Um, now, now I've cleared the, the blockages, but, um, also, I mean, like I say, the confirmation, mm. um, something that I've, probably didn't need but I'm here playing as well you know so what you know and what are the odds for you to get this appointment well you know I mean uh, I, I um, it, it happened within for, from me deciding I wanted to 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 have this appointment I'd I'd had it booked within a couple of days I mean it, it was that crazy you know That's so, what so I, um, when I decided yeah you know like I, this this is what I want to happen it happened yeah, you know, I, I sort of sort of said to myself, you know, I, I want this to happen, and and everything fell into place straight afterwards. It there was just no so doubt. Happened. There were no doubts. No, there wasn't. It just so happened. You know, you were not 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 only you were traveling across the pond, you were <laughs> tra- literally on my doorstep. Yes. And and you know, I ha- happened to look at the email when it came in, and then click mm-hmm. it, and I thought, well, you know, there, there's probably. A thousand other people that are probably going to click that button, but, but <laughs> a little bit more than that. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. But I just knew that I was going to get yes, it. Yes. You know, so once once um, I had that feeling, and and once it came in, and said, and and I just knew that I was going to get it. So mm-hmm. I knew that that was going to get confirmed. It's you just know. So you know that it's divine timing mm. that gets this appointment. It's not anything. It's not luck. It's when you're supposed it's not to luck. be here. It's, uh, you know, you don't just stumble here no you don't Uh. so if you want a session with me go to my website make sure you're signed up to my newsletter it comes out about once a month and I travel all around the world so depending on where you are is where you're gonna get that newsletter because I do target some areas like Mm. right now we did target the people from from the UK to come to the session so nobody got this newsletter that were outside because I've just been to London last month. Mm. So I want to make sure that the people from London got this. So yeah, it may not feel feel fair to you, but it's fair to the people who are here and don't get an opportunity. So make sure you sign up for that newsletter and come to my, my one of my events too. There's people who are like-minded and just like Chris, looking for other people who speak their same 
tongue, which is spirituality. And uh, at one of these events, you'll be able to meet people just like you. So thank you for watching. This was an interesting one. I don't get to talk to God twi uh, twice in a row, and I did yesterday and today, so this was pretty amazing for me. Thank you for watching. I hope I get to see you time sometime soon. Bye. Give me that hug. Thank you. Mm. Wow.